Kia ora, my name is Ria and today using Monarch products I'm going to paint this brand new timber exterior retaining wall. I'm only going to need a few products, it's really really easy. So first up I've just got my disposable paint tray and then I'm going to be using my roller and on this I've got a comfort grip handle which as you can see I've used time and time again. And I've popped on a really lovely fluffy um, roller, it's got a 20mm nap uh, which means you can get lots and lots of paint on there and then that'll be great to go over the uneven surface of the exterior timber. And then finally just to get into the harder to reach places I've got this beautiful wood care brush, 75mm, um, lovely bristles, really high quality. You don't want the bristles to be falling out into your paintwork so that's why it's important to use high quality brushes like Monarch. Alright, let's get started. You do want to have a fair amount of paint on your brush, like this, but not so much that it's dribbling down your hand. Also, if you moisten your bristles with water before popping the paint on, it makes application a lot easier. And always paint in the direction of the grain of the wood, rather than against it. That will make your job a lot easier too. Similarly, with the roller, if you wet it down first, it goes on a lot easier. We do want quite a lot of paint. It's, remember, it's a thick nap, so it's really absorbent. And just roll it on with ease. Check out the speed on that. Rolling is so satisfying. Because the wall is pretty new, I haven't needed to water blast it clean first, but if you are painting an older wall, make sure you clean it really thoroughly, otherwise the paint won't stick. I've opted for an exterior paint rather than a stain. It matches the house and it also doesn't require as much maintenance as a stain does. A stain needs to be restained every year or two. But the application process and products used are very similar if you are to opt for a stain. So as you can see, I've used the roller for the larger areas, and then I've used the brush to get into those hard to reach places, like behind the poles and to paint the posts themselves. So there you have it. All it took was a bucket of paint, a couple of hours, and some great products from Monarch, and I've really tidied up this new retaining wall. Super easy, and you can do the same with Monarch.